Well, one, uh, I'm the manager of the International Limited Company. As you know, our company is an uh, international travel agency. And uh, our aim is to offer flights and packages to popular destinations in Europe, America, Asia, and Africa. And today, I'm going to provide you, share you with the information in the, of the past eight quarters of our business. And uh, the first thing I'm going to tell you is about the objectives of us defined in the stage of our business. The first objective is to maximize the shareholder's equity, which is yours, equity, in order to get your support. And the second objective is to get a high market share by 30%. And because we think for our business, the most important factor is to have a good image, good brand image, and good reputation among the market. And the third fact, the third objective is to maintain a positive certain cash flow. On the one hand, we think we want to run the business in a risky stage. And on the other hand, we don't want to have cash on our hands because of the opportunity cost and depreciation. And then I'm going to go through the eight quarters, uh, the quarterly based uh, analysis, financial, our actions, investment, things like that. In the first quarter, we did nothing uh, because of observation and a meeting, discussion on the strategic plan of our business. And in the, in the rest quarters, we invest a lot on marketing, promotion, and also the product research and development. We also, in order to uh, fulfill the market demand and increase our uh, production capacity in line with it, we invest a lot of money on power plant and electricity as well. And in terms of the shares, we issue a lot of shares to our employees in order to get a higher productivity. And in the same time, we issue shares to our investors, families, friends to get more money from them. And also at the same time, we invest a lot of money on this. Uh, on, the, on the research and development to get a competitive advantage. And then, which I'm going to mention is the, the summary of our actions and uh, also the investment. And in terms of the research and development, we invested totally uh, £165,000 on the research and development. This seems to be high, but compared with other teams, this is quite low and resulted in very big problems of us. And the second marketing expenditure, this is uh, the biggest part of our, capital, uh, of our investment, which totals to £376,000 and goes to the power plant and electricity in order to get well production capacity, which totals, it cost us £220. Turn seven pounds at home, and now here is the shares fraction we have. The thirty percent of shares went to foreigners, and the fifty-three percent of shares went to investors, and the rest of fifteen percent of shares went to employees to get a higher productivity. But what you can see from this share fraction, employees get the lowest rates of shares, which results in another big problems of ours. And now I'm going to go to the quarterly results. Because of the limited scope of our report, I will only mention net rate income and the market share of the all. First, you can see from the graph, the net income goes up higher and higher until the, the sixth until the sixth, sixth quarter, which is resulted in the too much investment and promotion advertising. And the, in the eighth quarter, it dropped again because of the investment, high, too much investment on research and development, and also power plant. And in terms of the market share, because of our high investment, continuous investment on marketing and promotion, the share increased higher and higher and throughout the eight quarters. And then we're going to see from the financial data. First, I hope you can see the, uh, the asset turnover. You can see from this. Our revenue is very high, quite high, which picks to the 557% in the quarter seven. But compared with this, the operation profit margin is very low, which remain about 20%, 12%, 10%, even go go lot go to the 9% in last quarter. But in contrast, our equity multiplier is remain one point, which means that we have less debt, but also current ratio means we have little leverage in our business. 
And then I'm going to get to the problems for us in the ESPS days we face. The first problem is in a property strategic decision making process, which means we don't have a pre audit meeting for the investment we're going to make. And also, we are lack of competitiveness because of the little investment on research and development. And the third is our low profitability, which resulted in too much investment on marketing and promotion, and the less investment on the, for example, research and development. And the fourth is uh, uh, we are we are, we don't have a very balancing uh, orientation between market share and value, which means our efficiency. And then I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna find out. We found out some improvements to solve out the problems we uh, mentioned before. And the first is periodic meeting before any investment decision made on investment. And the second is more spending on R and D. It's not only spending more R and D effectively, and also we can invest in R and D in the early stage rather than in the last stage, which in the situation of the eighth quarter we lost our money. And the third one, uh, the fourth one is more shares issued to employees to increase their their uh, their production productivity and a longer net rate for lower cost as well. And also we gonna from, we gonna adjust ourselves from the market share oriented to the value oriented or the efficiency oriented. That means we're gonna increase our profitability by increasing the efficiency of our business. And then we can match the investment on PPE to the month market in case of lot wasting money. And then here the summary of our business, which is uh, we achieved our objectives. Well, uh, the market share is above 70 percent, about 76 percent. But in terms of the business how we lost the money, we lost our net income, we lost our profit because of the unbalanced investment. On the, uh, on the promotion and advertising, and the too low investment on the research and development. And from this business, we find out there is trade-off between the market share and the shareholders' equity. And there is also the trade-off between short-term and long-term profitability. If we are long one in the long term for you, I'm sure we can make more money because we have already got the highest market share in this market. Thank you.